and now this command is very useful command for devops engineers hey what's up folks this is gk so in this video we're going to look at eight git commands that you might not be aware of so the first command is searching in git so what it does is it will help you to search for a specific string inside your git repository or in your commits now let's say i want to search for a string called maven package or a phrase called maven package in this git repository i have to do this and then it will search for this maven package phrase in all the commits and everywhere inside the git repository and this is the command and uh, you just have to replace your string here in the quotes now the next command is a very useful command so what it does is it will give you the number of commits the count of commits it is helpful when you want to gather some stats or the metrics or during the rebasing and the command is again rev list count and here you have to give the branch for which you want to uh, calculate your commits so if i want to do it for main which I, that's the only branch i have in this repository and it will show me that i have 13 commits in total okay so now the another important git command is to clean up your local branches uh, the reason why this is useful command is because whenever you create lots of local branches in your git repository if you want to delete them all at once instead of deleting one branch by another branch and which is a common scenario that occurs let me create a sample branch all right so now i have a test branch now if you want to delete the branches that are merged with the main or that are part of the local then i have to do this we are trying to clean up our local branches and the fourth command is to view a file that is from another branch so for example let's say you have a file which is in another branch which you are not part of because right now if you look at me here i am in the main branch but let's say if i want to look for a file in feature branch or some other branch and the command is git show and here i want to give main because i don't have any other branch and then you can give test.py or something because i do not have any file with that name it is showing me an error but if i replace that file with something like pom.xml or uh, readme.md it will show me the contents of the file so this is handy whenever you want to view a file without switching the branch and now this command is very useful command for devops engineers because the scenario is that whenever you want to trigger a build by committing something let's say you have integrated your jenkins job with the git or uh, you have integrated any ci tool with the git now you want to do a a commit so that it will you will forcefully invoke the build to test the build and more often what people do is that they go to a file and then they make some changes in the file like for example giving some spaces in the file some readme file and then they forcefully try to do a commit but this command which would help you to do blank commits if you want to commit something here what i have to do is i have to do allow empty mt minus m new mt commit that's it so now this will help you to commit something without making any changes to the files which is very useful whenever you want to trigger some build now if i go back and uh, see the number of commits you can see like i have 14 commits using the previous command okay so the next command is to correct the spelling mistakes automatically now for example let's say you did git states usually what happens is that you will get an error message saying that probably you're trying for something called git status and that's an error message and then uh, you can recorrect that by entering the right spelling but if you make some config changes it will automatically correct automatically correct your uh, spelling mistakes let's say i'm changing it i'll show you what is the default scenario so the default scenario is something like this if i type git stats then it will throw you this error you can try this out in your git repository right now which will tell you that uh, okay, status is the right spelling but now if i make a changes in the configuration by making the autocorrect one and now if i try this command again so it will automatically know that you're trying to do git status it's very handy and it will save you a lot of time whenever you're playing around with git 
All right, so the seventh one, the seventh command is automatically pruning the orphan kit objects. Now you don't have to do anything here. You just have to make a configuration change, which is git config global fetch dot prune true. Now when one quick assignment for people who are new to DevOps is, and it's also an interview tip, is to understand what is pruning in Git. So that's a sort of an assignment for you. Just do some Google search and put it in the below comment section what exactly is pruning in git uh, let's move on and this is the final command this command is helpful whenever you want to back up your untracked files so what usually happens is whenever you create files if you are deleting those files which are not tracked uh, you will not be able to record the files because only git can recover what it is tracking so the command is git ls files others it's a pretty long command i will just copy this from my from my notepad and paste it here so it will create a backup of your untracked files okay so that's about the eight commands that i was not aware of it was super helpful for me to learn these commands and i hope this small video is super helpful for you as well and if you like this video, give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do click on subscribe. And do share this video with people who are planning to prepare for Git and DevOps interviews. Thanks again for watching this video. Take care. Bye.